Hey guys, this is Ron. So in this video, we're going to talk about EIGRP authentication. So we've talked about how to set EIGRP up uh, in previous videos, and we'll walk through a little bit of that here. But the focus here is on authentication. How do we ensure that the the other routers that we build neighbor relationships with are authorized routers, are who we expect to see on the distant end? So one of the mechanisms that we can use is EIGRP authentication. So to do that, we end up setting up a keychain. And just like the name implies, the keychain can, can host multiple keys. And each one of those keys can have a different lifetime, so a different start and stop time. And this enables me, uh, if maybe I have a policy that says uh, on a monthly basis or a quarterly basis, I'm going to rotate keys, which means you know I need a, a, an easy mechanism to, to shift from one key to the next. Well, by building uh, a lifetime into those keys, uh, I can easily have keys that kind of overlap by you know maybe an hour or so, two hours, you know a couple hours, whatever you know I, I feel is necessary. Then I can make it easy on my systems to to rotate to the next key, not drop relationships, things like that. Now this key is is just a passphrase that that I'm going to put on each of the uh, different routers, uh, and so I have to be obviously I have to safeguard that you know however I'm going to put it on there. Um, but essentially that passphrase is going to be used in the generation of an MD5 hash. That hash will be used um, when authenticating to different neighbors and if the hash isn't correct well then I don't build a relationship uh, with that distant end. Now I'm not doing any real protection here of the actual data that I send more or less I'm just trying to limit the number uh, or who I'm going to build a neighbor relationship with. So if uh, in my case here I want to ensure that router 1 and router 2 become neighbors but I don't control this router 3 that's out here uh, so even though it's sending advertisements I want to kind of ignore its advertisements to ensure that hey maybe router 3 is going to try to man in the middle of me so it's going to advertise to me that hey I know how to get to all these different networks send your traffic to me you know these sorts of things and I want router 1 and router 2 basically just just ignore anything you hear from router 3 because it doesn't it's not sharing the the uh, same type of authentication that you are or it's not utilizing that type of authentication so let's go ahead and set up EIGRP and then we'll see what this looks like so I'll bring up my consoles. Now everything's been configured already as far as a uh, their IP addresses are concerned. So if I bring up router one, I'll do a config t. Uh, I've already configured my interfaces, so I'm just going to turn on eigrp. So router eigrp, and I'll do autonomous system one. No auto summary, so that we don't auto summarize. Uh, like EIGRP does by default. We'll do network. So now I'm advertising on my primary interface. And I also want it to advertise my loopback address. Okay, so now I'm running EIGRP on router one. So router EIGRP1, again, on router 2, no auto summary. I will also advertise uh, on my loopback address. And what I should see here is that I build an adjacency. All right. So do show IP EIGRP neighbor. So we're just validating. Yes, I do have a relationship. So, and the address says it's from 123.1, which is router one, right? Router one also has a neighbor relationship. All right, and it has a relationship with router two. 
and via that relationship I'm learning about router 2's uh, loopback address alright so everything looks good so far so now let me turn EIGRP on uh, for router 3 Nope, not interface. How about router EIGRP1? All right, and so now router three has built a relationship. Okay, so router 2 has a relationship with both router 1 and router 3. And I have learned about dot 1 and dot 3. So what happens then if this guy comes along and interface L1 IP address Well, we'll just do, let's say he says, well, I know about this 192 wants to say 0.0, .0 network, right? Or how about 16.0.0. Should probably give it a valid IP. All right. All right, so now it has a new interface in there, right? So if I do a do show IP route EIGRP, I will see this network. Well, maybe that network is is conflicting with something on router one, router two. So I'm I'm having some issues because router three, I shouldn't be building a relationship with them. I don't control that device, but for some reason. I'm getting advertisements. I've built a relationship, so now their IPs are kind of you know causing an issue. So what I want to do is turn on authentication between routers one and router two, so that they don't build a relationship with router three. So I'll first build my keychain. So keychain, and I have to give it a name. So this one I'll give the name of EIGRP. The next thing I want to specify is an actual key. So I'm going to put a key on my keychain and I identify it by number. So now key one. And if I look in here, I can have a key string as well as an accept lifetime. So I can I can basically set some some uh, start and stop times on it. For the purposes of, of, of this lab, we won't set times on it. Uh, if you're going to do that, ensure that you know you set up a solid time source like NTP uh, that all your routers are synced to. But again, we're just uh, we're just going to test the baseline functionality here. So we'll do a key string, my secret key. All right. We'll do the same thing on router two. So keychain EIGRP. And the name here is just something to keep track of it for. You know, it, it it's just so that I know it's it's locally significant here. So don't don't get too bent around the axle about that one. But key one, key string, this was what? My secret key. Let's look. So my secret key. My secret key. Alright, so now we have a keychain. Uh, with a single key in it on both routers 1 and router 2. So now I will apply it uh, to EIGRP. And to do that, I apply it on the interface uh, that I want to make sure that I'm, I'm using this, this uh, MD5 uh, hash on. So interface FA00, IP authentication, and I can do the keychain and I can do the mode. So let's set up the keychain first. So keychain EIGRP, it's going to ask me which autonomous system number are we worried about here. So autonomous system number one, and what is the name of my key uh, or my keychain? So EIGRP. All right. So notice that you know I have some some issues. So immediately my keychain has changed. Uh, 
and I've rebuilt uh, my adjacencies. So it's set, but I'm not truly utilizing it yet. So what I'll do is IP authentication mode EIGRP, again, the autonomous system number that I'm using. And I want to use MD5 uh, as my hash. So once I set that, I should see that my authentication mode has changed. And then if I wait long enough, I should see issues. Do show IP EIGRP neighbor. So here I'm not showing any neighbor relationships, all right? So they my neighbor relationships went down because the authentication mode changed, all right? So no relationships right now in router one. So if I go to router two, I'm getting an authentication failure with router one. And that's because again I turned on authentication uh, on router one but haven't done it yet for router two. So interface FA00 IP authentication keychain EIGRP1 and I'm going to oops EIGRP IP authentication so it says I've built a relationship so I have a new adjacency Uh, let's see, I got a little distracted there. Sorry about that. EIGRP1 MD5. So here I had changed some of my authentication. So the neighbor relationship went down. But because I never changed the mode, the neighbor relationship comes right back with router 3. So here I should show that again they get reset because my authentication mode gets changed. But this time. I build a relationship with router 1 as opposed to router 3. All right. So now my adjacency is up. So do show IP route EIGRP. So now the only advertisement I get is for this 10001. So now router 3 doesn't have the opportunity to send me that advertisement for the 172 network. <clears throat> because again I haven't built a relationship with them and I won't build a relationship with them because I'm using uh, authentication and router 3 is not so in this way we protect router 1 and router 2 from anything that router 3 may try to send to it so do show IP yeah GRP neighbor and I have a single relationship and that's with um, router 2 so I hope you found this helpful uh, just one little uh, thing that you can do to kind of protect your EIGRP uh, neighborships just to kind of protect hey who's who am I going to build a relationship with and then you know uh, by doing that you control you know what they can and can't send you so again thanks for watching hope it was helpful